Hey guys, this is Nikki Rowland for Spiegel Mum Scraps and today I'm making a layout using a set of sequins called Fancy Flight. They are from the uh, National Scrapbooking Day bundle that was available for a short time. Um, and um, I am going pink crazy on this one, pink and yellow actually. I'm also um, combining this with a challenge over on For the Love of Pretty Paper, which is a UK uh, forum and they have some challenges going on at the moment so I thought it would be fun to take part in one of those. And the challenge is to follow a sketch, which I'll show you in a minute, um, and also to include the colour yellow on your layout. So I'm going to do all of those things um, and uh, also go a bit pink crazy with this fantastic set of sequins. That fancy flight contains um, sequins that are sparkly hot pink and they're so awesome. Um, there's also some um, open stars in there as well in a kind of hot pink purpley colour and some iridescent tiny uh, stars as well. So altogether a really fabulous uh, sequin mix. I really loved it. The second I saw it I thought, oh that's awesome. Um, so the sketch um, that I'm using has got um, a whole bunch of stars at the top of the layout with a photo in the middle um, and um, it's kind of like raining down stars. So I thought I would use the sequins um, for that. Um, and uh, I'm gonna kind of position them all the way around the edge of the top part of the layout. Um, you'll see um, how I do that. Um, at the moment, I'm, um, I've just put a few up there for placement reasons. Um, and uh, I just wanted to um, see what it would look like and how dense I needed it to become um, in order to get the effect that I was looking for. I decided to intersperse some punched hearts um, around that kind of frame that I'm gonna create. Um, so I've punched a few of those out of the Paige Evans Horizon P paper, the really, really pink one. Um, I've um, I've used um, quite a lot of the Paige Evans uh, paper in this um, layout and I've used it around the edge of my layout. It's one of the, it's the uh, frame um, around the outside of the layout. Um, I actually um, used this sheet to cut something out uh, for a previous layout um, and um, I was left uh, with the edge intact but um, the middle bit was used, mostly used. So I've just um, gutted it and um, going, well I think I'm about to gut it soon and uh, I stick that white paper over the top. So I um, because I started layering up my photo and all the sequins and bits and pieces, um, I then couldn't attach my white background to the frame to begin with, so I'll do that later on. Um, so here I am adding a few more punched hearts. I wanted some light pink ones as well. Um, the big ones just weren't working, so I've taken those out um, of the uh, top part uh, completely um, and uh, just added in a few small um, hearts instead. I'm just going to get those all stuck in place. Um, I've put a few paper layers behind my photo um, and then I've added those balloons. Um, they're from a De Lizzie collection. Uh, I've added those to the right of the photo. This is a layout about my little girl's birthday and the presents that she received uh, for her birthday. So the balloons work really well. Um, the great, the big bow um, just above them, um, I really like those bows. They're big paper bows on paper clips. Um, they're by uh, Simple Stories, I think. Um, and they look, that, that's the last one of that packet. So uh, I just put that at the top of the photo. Um, I'm going for it now with the sequins. I'm giving them a really good sprinkle, getting them all um, in over the place um, and then I'm gonna have to stick them all down <laughs> which is the least fun part I suppose um, but um, I love the way it's coming together they're really um, starting to look good um, as that frame as kind of like raining down sequins um, and um, yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and um, get all those stuck down um, I'm gonna use glossy accents um, for these so I just um, using my paper piercing tool and got just moving each one out of the way putting some a little dab of glue down and uh, then moving them back into place so those little star sequins the teeny teeny tiny iridescent ones are the most difficult um, to pick up and stick down um, my glossy accents is coming out a bit fast so I have quite a few blobs of glue around but it looks okay I'm, I'm quite happy with the end result in the in the end um, and I still get the little shimmer from the gorgeous uh, tiny tiny um, iridescent star sequins so that's was worth it um, so yeah I'm just getting all of those um, stuck in place now and now magically they are all stuck down. Um, so I'm just getting everything else stuck in place. So all my embellishments stuck down. I haven't used a huge amount. I'm just um, keeping my custard to the right hand side of my photo. I had something on the table that I wanted to cover up a bit. So um, I'm just adding my cluster there. 
Um, I've got a few paper layers at the top and I'm going to uh, extend that up a little bit as well. Um, and um, I really love these Dear Lizzy uh, flowers, they're navy. I'm loving navy at the moment. Um, so um, I've just fussy cut a couple of those out and I'm just using them um, on my layout there. So just adding them to my clusters. So I've just got those two um, stuck in place. Now just going through adding a few more stickers. These ones are from the uh, April Hit Kit Club actually. They're exclusive stickers so uh, I'm just um, getting in using up some of those it's a past kit now I have the latest one so um, I just wanted to finish up that kit it's a really gorgeous kit um, so yeah just getting all of those bits um, stuck in place and using what I can from that sticker sheet as well as uh, some Paige Evans ephemera and um, chipboard stickers as well so um, yeah just uh, going through adding in some layers um, and uh, building up uh, my layout where I can so I'm sitting here looking at this and thinking that um, my uh, layout needs uh, sorry my sequins need a bit more so I could go back and add loads of um, more of the pink but actually I think it needed a bit of a lift with some yellow so I tried out the um, other set from the NSD um, bundle but the yellow wasn't quite right it was a darker yellow and I wanted a brighter one so I've gone through to my oldest set of bursting sun rays which is one of my favorite sets ever actually um, and pulled out the super bright yellow that's from there and I'm just sprinkling those around there's not very many of them so I couldn't go nuts um, but uh, yeah I've just sprinkled those in and uh, I'll obviously have to get those um, stuck in place as well um, so that kind of lifted up a bit the bright hot pink was so hot pink that um, I it just looked a little bit dark um, so the yellow really really lifts it brings it out um, to um, make it look a bit brighter um, and it goes with the whole yellow sunny feeling that I have got going on with this layout and um, it's a nice picture actually she's sat at the kitchen table we've got all the light coming in through the uh, windows um, and um, it just yeah it's just a nice happy photo and the yellow really really lifts that and brightens it the up the layout a little bit so uh, that's why I decided to go for those just adding in a couple of butterflies there from the fancy flight um, set as well oh here's that background paper that I said that I'd cut out earlier um, I'd already used part of it for a different layout so I'm just taking out that middle section um, and um, I actually tore it as well so I just had to repair that um, and uh, now I'm getting my layout stuck onto that frame so I love to have lots of color on my layouts and this frame is ideal because it gives um, a lovely diff lots of different colors all the way around the edge I made the frame quite big so I basically that means I cut my um, 12 by 12 white cardstock background down to I think it's about 11 and a quarter inches um, and uh, I've used so that for gives me a slightly bigger frame around the edge than my usual 11 and a half inches um, so okay just getting everything stuck in place I've used that word fabulous by Bramble Fox they'll make awesome acrylic titles and other shapes uh, in the UK and um, so I've used the word fabulous for my title and underneath I'm going to write um, LOL surprise which is the brand of dolls that she received for her birthday so we ended up with tons of them for her birthday she was so happy about that um, and now she has a serious collection so there she was on her birthday sat there looking having arranged all of those new ones onto the table and she was just having a good look at them and um, playing with all of them so that was really quite sweet um, so I'm adding in some gold twine or thread behind my clusters so I've got one down adding the gold twine to the one on the bottom right of the photo and then one at that top left section as well just want those ends to stick out a little bit um, and uh, but also don't want them to come out completely so just secured the top one with some tape the other one down to the right is uh, stuck with um, foam pads underneath the embellishment so that will, will keep it in place they also add some glossy accents as well just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere um, okay so I'm still looking at my sequins thinking they're not dense enough I feel that they don't make uh, make for a solid looking frame or area so I'm going through and adding a whole ton of shimmers um, paint splatters so I've used a color called bubblegum blast it's an original shimmers paint um, it's not uh, it's not hot pink it's um, lighter than that but it's really lovely um, and um, it just went quite well with the hot sequin mix and the rest of the layout um, and that just made me feel that it made the frame more of a solid color um, and uh, it just brought it all together nicely finished it off well so that's what I did there just writing in my uh, little bit of journaling and adding the date and that is me done 
Um, so, okay, that. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. That was. Um, Nikki Rowland for Spiegel Mum Scraps. Um, don't forget that if you uh, place an order through the store, add Nikki15 discount code for a 15% discount. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time.